hey guys welcome back to my channel it's ren today i'm going to be doing the perfect palette tag as you see from above and today is christmas eve so happy holidays to all you guys if i don't get this video up today i'm hoping that you guys have a really good holiday season um just leave below what kind of gifts you got what you really wanted for christmas and yeah we're gonna get right into it so the first thing on the list is best packaging now to me packaging could mean if it's beautiful or if it's more sturdy and if it's something a little bit easier to travel so in that case i'm gonna have to go with my lorac pro palette because it's very thin and um yeah it's very flat and it's kind of secure i know it's a little bit um some people don't really like this packaging like the cardboard packaging with um like the magnetic closure but i kind of like it and the new two palette as well has the same kind of thing and they're pretty much the same size so i'm gonna have to go with yeah the lorac pro or maybe even the new two palette simply because they're the same kind of thing but the lorac pro is a little bit thinner um next one would be best color payoff and i'm just looking at my phone here because i took a snap of the questions um and that's what is the best color payoff to me the best color payoff is the sleek makeup and i have a few of those palettes but right now i'm just going to show you the bad girl palette these colors are absolutely amazing i mean just one swipe look at that the color is exactly as it is in the pan and it is so damn bright i mean it is absolutely ridiculous i just swiped my finger in it once and swiped it on my hand that to me is absolutely amazing all of these sleek palettes are like that and even the matte colors i know people were complaining about the matte colors but i think they reformulated it and they're pretty good all the ones that i got are really good including the matte colors uh moving on smartly the next one is i can get my thing on uh most versatile no um this one had me a little bit confused but in the end i decided to go with my 10 color palette this is the camouflage palette and this one is from bh cosmetics and if you've ever used one of these you would know that it comes with 10 colors in it ranging from lightest to darkest and then it has some color correcting and the reason why i like this is that you can mix and match these colors obviously i'm not going to be using these colors here because that I mean even for highlighting that's way too bright so you can use these if anything to lighten up some of these colors here to make probably like a highlight color or if you want to highlight the center of your nose or your chin or whatever the case may be um, then you also have some color correcting and this is great for us dark skin girls any kind of darkness that orange or peachy color is gonna just cover all those dark circles so when you put on your makeup everything is flawless and of course if you are a little bit lighter than me probably i'm an mw45 or so or i use cappuccino by revlon for the outside of my face and the inside of my face i use caramel a little bit off topic but um you can use this for a contour so the reason why i think this is the most versatile because you can highlight you can contour you can color correct and then you can also mix custom foundations if you want because these are very thick i wouldn't suggest using them as a foundation but some people might like it i don't know but um yeah that to me is the most versatile the next one i'm going to talk about is the best for traveling now i actually didn't have to think too hard about this to me the jenny riviera palette granted the size is not as um small as i would prefer it to be but in terms of what you get in this palette um i think it is worth the little bit of extra size it has a mirror right here it also has a row of two four six blushes and it has some very nice neutral colors and for me being a dark skin girl what i really love about it is these this color right here this is a great highlight color brow highlight and it is matte and then this color over here is a perfect crease color for me anyway um if you're a little bit lighter than me you might want to go a little bit um less heavy-handed just to make sure that you don't end up with like a big white streak on your face or maybe um too much um darkness in the crease 
but otherwise the colors are absolutely beautiful um it's more of a neutral palette so if you have uh, probably like a little quad or something that's a little bit more colorful you can use this along with it and i think this is perfect for traveling because it has blushes and even some of these shimmery eyeshadows that you have here especially like this one you can definitely use that as a cheek highlight or brow highlight whatever you want to use it as so yeah this one is best for traveling next is the biggest regret no I don't usually regret my purchases simply because I do a lot of research on them so I don't find myself um, buying a lot of things that I regret having in the last in the first place or in the last place as it would be because as you get to use things sometimes you don't really like them but I would have to say this is my biggest regret this is the petal pusher by Wet n Wild and I don't want to say that is a regret like oh gosh if I could send it back I would it's more like I don't really like purple is when I first started um, collecting makeup I got this I got the blue had me at hello and I got the comfort zone palette and this is my least favorite simply because I don't really like purple but I filmed this look just before doing this video and this video is this particular look is gonna be up first so if you want you can click here and you will go straight to that video um, but I use it to blend out uh, just above the crease and yeah this is this color right here that I use to blend out the crease and it's not too bad I think I'm gonna give this palette a second chance and I'm gonna probably do a video on it and I maybe I might learn to like it but purple is really not my favorite kind of eyeshadow color probably that's why I don't like it that much but the color payoff is excellent simply because the color is that's it the next one is best color names if you remember a few months ago I did a review on a company um, I think it is colorful online and I have bought a replica Nike 2 so I'm gonna have to say I like the names of the Urban Decay colors I mean yes they're the same colors even though it's a replica I don't have the real thing but I'm gonna have to go with the Naked um, palette Naked 2 palette the names are just I don't know they have half big booty call chopper tea snake bite suspect um, pistol busted blackout I mean granted some of the other ones from their other palettes are a little bit more creative but um, yeah I'm gonna have to go with this one moving on now to the next one and I have least used funny enough funny enough the least used for me is my Jenny Rivera palette um, the reason why I didn't use this before as much is because I tried to swatch them with my fingers and I didn't really get the color payoff that I really wanted until probably sometime last week I was going to work and I wanted to use a silver gray and I said you know what let me give this palette another chance and I use this gray right here what I had to do is dig my brush into it just a little bit so that it flakes off the top layer and surprisingly this is really good um, everybody else was like yeah the pigmentation on this palette is really good blah 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 blah, blah. and I was disappointed when I first used it but um, yeah I do know that some shadows you have to scratch the top of it with your brush to get good color payoff so this will probably become my most used simply because it has like everything in it that you can create almost a full face in in terms of makeup anyway in terms of eyeshadow and blush and that kind of thing so this is my least used but I have every intention to making it one of my most reached for kind of palettes and last but certainly not least I'm gonna put in the last three together that would be most used most love and desert island which pretty much is the same thing um, I am gonna have to go with my Lorac Pro palette this to me this palette is everything to me and if you haven't seen the inside of it which we all have it has a really nice sized mirror here it's very good for doing your makeup the mirror is really good and of course it has 16 colors in it eight matte eight shimmer how can you go wrong with matte colors it has my crease highlight if i want some really bright it has something a little bit more toned down something to blend out the crease something a little bit like pink if you want to do a brow highlight like that it has a perfect crease color for me something to deepen it up and a matte black hello seriously that alone is like the best kind of neutral palette if you like um matte colors and then at the bottom you have all the champagne gold kind of colors and then you have a nice 
fun garnet color here a purple and then a slate which I personally haven't used but I think I'm going to actually dip into that one and see what I can create with it um, so yeah this is my most used most love and uh, my desert island if I had to go anywhere besides Jenny Riviera which um, it looks pretty but at first I didn't really like it because of the color payoff this color payoff is absolutely excellent it is versatile um, but obviously I couldn't use this as all of my answers so I tried to get creative I went through my stash and saw what I had so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was just a quick little thing I wanted to do um, just remember to click subscribe click like if you like this video and yeah I know I haven't been around for a very long time but I promise I will be back I have lots of time on my hands right now and I have a good few videos that I want to put up for you guys so again thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video happy holidays to everybody and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow bye